So we're on the Blackmagic Design booth at IBC 2023, and one of the things we're showing is the new Blackmagic Camera app. And this is available now to download free from the App Store. And in essence, what this does is it turns your iPhone into a Blackmagic Camera. So you get much more control over the optics and the sensor within that camera. So what we're seeing here is the camera app itself. And one of the first things that you'll see is it replicates the same displays as a Blackmagic camera would. So anyone that's traditionally familiar with a Blackmagic camera uh, will understand and know these controls. So I've got control over everything from uh, the frame rates that we're gonna shoot at, and I can change those here through 25, 24, uh, I can go up to 30, 48 frames, etc. I can change shutter speed, again, similar with the uh, controls on the side. Uh, I can go in, I can change white balance, uh, I've then got control over the microphone levels and I can make all kinds of adjustments to that. But then I get the choice over all kinds of things. I can start to see guides on the frame. I mean, it gives you complete professional camera control right within an iPhone. I get to change codecs and frame rates and all of those different things. So you get to record in H.264, in H.265, in ProRes, so the whole mix of ProRes flavors, depending on what you want to shoot, whether that's at 720p, 1080p, 4K, and take complete control over the camera that's part of the iPhone. I've also got a chat function. So if I logged into Blackmagic Cloud now, I could chat with other users that were part of the same project. The app is free to download, and you can start to use it straight away. What's really exciting is that all of the um, files that you create on the phone are then uploaded to Blackmagic Cloud and synchronized directly to DaVinci Resolve. So with each clip that you record, as soon as you press stop on that recording, the file is sent to Blackmagic Cloud and downloaded into synchronized bins on uh, DaVinci Resolve for you to start working immediately. Now that's an incredible workflow. It'll either send the proxy files on their own, or it will send the proxies and the original camera files so that you can start working really, really quickly. It lets you choose which project you're logged into. So in theory, you could be logged into multiple projects. So again, as a, for instance, if you had interviews at IBC, um, one was with Blackmagic Design, another maybe with Canon or with somebody else, and you could choose which project you wanted to be logged into to upload your camera media. So the, the, the camera connects to the projects that are set up in DaVinci Resolve. And what Mike's just done here is set us up a new project called Film TV Video. And once we've set that project up, we enable that to invite others to upload within to that project. So we could have five, 10, 15 different users who we share that project with. And as they film video clips, maybe around the IBC hall, all of those would be uploaded to our Blackmagic Cloud and synchronized back into DaVinci Resolve. So through the iPhone, Mike then will get the opportunity to select the project that he wants to upload to. There's our film TV video project that Mike just created within DaVinci Resolve. That's broadcast out to the phones. So because we've shared it with this particular phone, we can now start to record into that project. Then as soon as we finish the clip that's recording, that clip starts to upload into cloud and it will download back to DaVinci Resolve without you doing another thing. And that as a workflow is incredibly fast for people, especially say in an environment like this, a really practical example, where you could be running around the trade show you know, for, for hours collecting different interviews, you could upload all of those clips when you'd finished them into DaVinci Resolve so that post-production might start with somebody else in a remote location. It might be two or three people. You could have somebody connected to this project in Germany, but you could have a colorist in London or something of that nature, all working on the same media that's been shared by Blackmagic Cloud. So incredible new workflow opportunities for news, for magazine style production, for, for all different kinds of users, enabled by the Blackmagic Camera app and the DaVinci Resolve synchronization. Mm -hmm.